wake up, let's run. Because cross country season is here. <laughs> It makes you push yourself every day as hard as you can. Josie Gray has prepared for the A6 Classic since last season, both in body and mind. It's really hard to get yourself in that mentally positive mindset, but you just got to know that you're there for your team. Staying positive on the course was instilled by Josie's mother, Chris. Her inner dialogue is her source of motivation. Sometimes I'll give myself like a mantra. So this is typical protocol on race day for Josie and her mom. A quick video chat to what's your good luck before the meet. But today you're not going to find Chris on her phone or cheering among the other parents. Instead, the bystander is switching to competitor. During this one, I was like, my mom's behind me. I got to go. I know I've got a lot of experience but I don't feel that old. Chris, a.k.a. Mom, is a freshman runner at Daytona State. History was made as Chris and Josie became the first mother-daughter tandem to compete against each other in a college cross-country meet. Everybody's coming early today. We have to watch the mom and the daughter race. Beat your mom. You got to beat her. Go, Mrs. Gray. And go, Mom. Go, Josie. Don't close the history book just yet. This marked the first ever race for Daytona State cross-country. Even more impressive. Three Falcon runners, including Chris, are over the age of 40. They were going to go out and beat people. They weren't going to be dead last. And so I think that was, you know, that was a little bit, that's scary. The idea came to Judy Wilson through a group of casual joggers. Unlike the NCAA, there is no age limit at the junior college level. That sounds like a lot of fun. It became a joke at first. She's going to consider letting me be on the team. You should do this. You should definitely do this. And with that, the showdown was on and it's mom getting out to the strong start. She went out faster than me and I was like, uh. I don't know that she ran as fast as she normally can. On this day, it's daughter Josie claiming the close victory over mom for now. The two will meet again next month at the FSU Invitational in Tallahassee. Is it gonna be 2-0 here in a couple weeks when you meet again? Oh, it has to be. <laughs> Uh, if it's not, my coach and teammates are all going to be very disappointed in me. In Daytona, Luke Hetrick, Spectrum News 13.